Um, but this also just kind of highlights that the rest of the world is definitely kind of taking point. Um, the, the Europe's first spot ETF, which was approved two years ago, I think, um, has uh, finally listed in, in Amsterdam. And so that'll actually start trading very, very soon. Um, and the Monetary Authority of Singapore has finalized its stablecoin regulations. Um, so basically, it just kind of gets into that there needs to be a few uh, minimum requirements in order for you to be okay as a stable as a uh, uh, as as running a stable coin. Uh, you need to maintain adequate reserve assets. Uh, you need to be able to return the par value of stable coins to holders within five business days, and they have to comply with certain disclosure rules. Um, basically, they they back their stable coins almost entirely with cash, some currency equivalents, short term treasuries, etc. Um, the article goes on to say that uh, the U.S. Senate has approved a bill that will make stablecoins subject to anti-money laundering laws. That's actually a misunderstanding. It wasn't the Senate in the first place. It was the House, and they haven't actually approved it. It just made it out of committee, so it's been actually introduced. Uh, it's really significant legislation, though. It's called the Clarity for Payment Stablecoins Act of 2023, um, backed, sponsored by uh, uh, Chair Patrick McHenry, um, who... Anyone that's been kind of following the space knows that he's the guy that said five years ago or so that uh, uh, Bitcoin can't be stopped and everyone that's tried has failed. So, and we've met with his office a handful of times. They really, really do understand this stuff really well and they're big supporters of it. It enables freedom. It enables kind of stronger markets in the U.S., uh, uh, better protections for, for, for users than what just regulations can provide, et cetera. So someone like that taking point on these kind of things is fantastic. And from our read of the bill so far, it's it's a great way to move this forward in the U.S. So we're, Absolutely. we're quite stoked about that. We all need stable coins. Every part of the crypto industry. It's not just about having stable coins. It's about having something that you can use to interact with DPIN protocols, as an example. Right. Yep. 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 yep.